guys, it's Mike Sorg, Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com. Go sign up for the newsletter. We got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of webinars. We're going to introduce you to podcasting. Hi, this is podcasting. Podcasting, this is the room. And we're going to go from there. No, there'll probably be a spiffy slideshow and everything. I've been loving Keynote lately, uh, but I try not to be one of those slideshow people. Uh, but anyways, today I wanted to talk about platforms. Uh, we talked about on the, on the last episode here about, uh, you know, Facebook ads, you know, ads in general, kind of, uh, do I really need to put money into these platforms uh, versus paying a dude to do it, you know, or, or, or and, and that time versus everything. But and, and I mentioned at the end a little bit about, you know, well, maybe maybe you don't need the ads because maybe you have this other platform that you can say, hey, go follow us on Facebook, go follow us on Twitter, and then you can engage with people on there and organically grow that and not have to pay a lot of money for it. So So what is that other platform? And should you be driving people away from it is the other thing. Uh, you know, discussions uh, in the past uh, few weeks, not on here, but just other general discussions that I've been a part of, talking about that high, whole idea of, of, of people using Facebook as their website. As their website. Um, like just not getting a so-and-so abccompany.com, just getting a Facebook page and be like, website, I'm done. Get a Twitter page. I'm on the web, you know, and that's it. And I think that's uh, misguided a little bit. I, I think that's certainly something you need to... <laughs> the Facebook is not the web is something we need to uh, drive home here. You do need the website. Even if you don't do much with the website, even if it's just a place for your name, your address, the, what you do, some spiffy pictures of you and your staff, whatever the case may be. Maybe you got a blog. I was I would suggest a blog for in, in most cases, or at least a news or something like that. It kind of depends business to business. This isn't none of this is a formula for absolutely everybody out there. You know, much like you shouldn't be on every platform. Well, here's the other consideration: you should not be only on some platform. You should own your own website. Um, there's a, a lot of conversations on this week at Google about the indie web and owning your own platform and you syndicate everywhere else. I, I, you know, that, that kind of idea. I write a blog on my website, not over on Medium, not over here. I put it on my own website and I syndicate that to Medium, Facebook, and Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you know, that doesn't really work that way. But, but if you're plugging everything into Facebook, and we've seen this, and a lot of people are upset over this. I've used Facebook, and I've cultivated this following, and I got this great thing, and now nobody can see me anymore. This is the other reason why um, I've come around, and I'm, I'm late to the game, and figuring out how to do mailing lists. Uh, see everything I know about mailing lists uh, last week uh, in basic sorgonomics. Just do a search for that term, everything I know about mailing lists, and there's about 10 minutes on that. Uh, but again, you know, well, I, I'm seeing, well, I built this platform, boom, 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 boom. Now, as we mentioned yesterday, Facebook is now holding my people, my fans hostage, and I have to pay again for them to see it. Or there's some other methods that uh, Doug Durda sent me that, that said, hey, make sure you see all of my posts. And there's actually a setting on a page that you can, you can deal with. Um, and you just send that to all your people. But again, in that case, they had a mailing list. Guess what you own? The mailing list. Guess what? Uh, nobody can hold hostage. The list of emails that you've collected, mindfully and legally, by the way, uh, not buying a list and doing that kind of thing. I, you know, I not uh, for that. But you, your audience, you've gotten the email. You've driven your audience to sign up and say, "I want information from you, sir or ma'am." And if Facebook goes away. You can say, hey, guys, I guess that Facebook thing sucks now. Uh, we're going to be doing this over here. If you still want to converse with me, we're on. Uh, Plurk has apparently risen from the grave. I know that's always the example. And we're going to do our community over there. I hope you'll join us, but you'll still be getting information on this newsletter. Um, having the website, if Twitter is, it becomes a horrible, horrible thing, and you don't want to be there anymore, uh, you can just say, hey, we're going to be over here. Hey, this is the new platform. Let's see what, what, what you adopt. You know, nothing lasts forever. What if you were a company that operated solely on MySpace? Some of you know what I mean. Uh, you're gone. You're done. You didn't have another place. You're rebuilding from scratch somewhere else and hoping and praying that all those people find you. That have gone on to Facebook, to the other things from your MySpace page where you solely owned and operated, right? Um, I think a lot of bands had this issue. 
because that was the place where bands were. That was the place where well, today Facebook, all the booking for pro wrestling, I've noticed, happens over Facebook messaging. If you're not on Facebook and you're a pro wrestler, you're probably not getting booked. If you're a promoter and you're not on Facebook, you don't know how to find a damn wrestler. I'm pretty sure. I'm not a promoter. But that's what it seems to be. Uh, what happens when there's going to be a shift? It used to be on MySpace. I, I got band bookings through MySpace when I had a rap group. Crap, this doesn't matter. Available on Apple Music, by the way. Ew, they, what is what got on that? Um, what happened over here? <laughs> you don't see what happens to this cubby over here. There's just a lot of stuff. I got a Ninja Turtles comic book, or I'm sorry, coloring book and everything. I might have colored like one picture. This is my mindfulness right here. But anyways, that's not what this show's about. This show's about platforms. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's kind of like I, I, I've... Um, you know, I, I've always been skeptical about leaving my nice safe space here because this is my platform that I've built. And if I start depending on a different studio, someplace else, a co-working space, you know, is that going to be an issue? Does that go away? And then does my my efforts in all of this go away? And that's been something I've been battling with for a while. And I'm, I'm making strides to fix that, of course, as we talked about, I think, here on the show in, in, in recent months. And, and, uh, and I'm finding a really good home over there at Work Hard Pittsburgh. Um, which I haven't been to much this week, so we can fix that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it, it's it's uh, you know, you got to own your platform, as they say. You need to to own that. If you're if you if you haven't even considered a mailing list, um, and not everybody needs it. And don't get me wrong, not everybody needs to do that. But if nothing else, just 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 say, hey guys, um, um, we're gonna do this over here. And just in case everything goes, if you want updates that you know you're going to get, because you know we know Facebook is 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 whatever, and Twitter is uh, a flash in a pan. Uh, you, you, the tweet, you, here's the tweet, and there it goes. You know, oh, there, 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 there it goes. You know, um, it, it's 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 that guy holding the sign for the, the the tax company that you pass on the highway. You've driven by it. You're not going back to it. And that's your tweet flying by. When you put that out, that one tweet you put out about your podcast, this is, hey, we got a new show. <laughs> Just drove by. Nobody's coming back to it. You better you better hope you posted somebody up here. That's why you see a billboard for the same thing every mile. It's 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 a repetition. It catches your attention. And and there was something I, I saw about like the eighth click is is the most productive when you've repeated something on Twitter. Just something to consider as well. That does not have anything to do with this conversation. Um but but no, I, I, I think you need to uh, uh, look at the platforms that you're on, look at where you're thriving, and consider what happens when that place goes away. What happens if I'm, making, if I'm PewDiePie and I'm making my $6 million from YouTube, and then YouTube changed something, or everybody leaves YouTube in droves because something happened? Now you just lost that entire income. I'm sure PewDiePie is smart enough. I don't know how smart is a guy named PewDiePie, but, oh, that's that was too... I don't know the guy. Um, but hopefully he's merchandising some other way. Hopefully he's turning his fame into other opportunities. And I think most of them, when you see that top 10 list that came out this week for YouTube stars, most of them have other opportunities that they're spinning out of this or this is a part of a larger plan. They're not making all their money off of YouTube. You shouldn't be making all of your communication off of Facebook. It is a tool, but it's a tool you don't own. It's the social club that could close its doors any day now. It's it's uh, you know it's the rec hall that lost the funding from the city, and now you don't know where to hang out with your friends, you know, and uh, and that's why you need to uh, invite everybody into your own house. No, this is I need to work on this metaphor a little bit, but I hope you get what I'm saying here. Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, where, where's your platform? Do you have a good one on your own? I'm not saying everybody needs to own their own message board. I think that's something that WWE got in trouble with. They tried to create their WWE Universe social network on their own so they could own the platform and own the fans, realized it wasn't working, and then they went to where the fans were in Facebook and Twitter. And now they're owning it, and they're one of the top, top, top social media-driven companies in the, in the country, in, in the world, uh, and just completely own the space, won awards, everybody looks to them, and they had such a such a huge misstep in their strategy early on with that, but they recovered from it. Um, so but but their brand and their dot com is strong enough. If Facebook goes away, if Twitter goes away, 
And plus, they have the money to go on so many platforms. It blows my mind when I see their pre-show graphic, and they show all the platforms that they show the pre-show to the pay-per-views for free, and Pinterest is on there? How does that even work? But anyways, uh, but they have the money that they can spread themselves and be there when a platform explodes. Buy something like Tout that didn't go anywhere, and but now they can. that's fine. They can move to it. They have the money to do that. You don't have the luxury of that because you're just a person in their basement doing a podcast and you don't have the time. And you don't have the money to send the Facebook ads out like we talked about in yesterday's episode. It's you doing it and you need to maximize your effort but have a backup. Hope those ideas resonate with you. Let me know if they do at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Um, and of course, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Find out stuff going on. Thank you so much for joining me. These are a blast. I'm so glad that uh, a lot of you guys are responding to this, joining me on the uh, Periscopes, etc. cetera, uh, during this. Thank you, everybody, for the hearts today as we've been recording this this morning. And uh, keep an eye out on my Twitter. Uh, I tend to record Monday or Tuesday evenings and sometimes on a Thursday morning. And I'm trying to package these up a little bit here as uh, the ideas come and my schedule allows. Uh, and you can join me here live on the Periscopes. at Sorgatron on the Twitter and the Periscopes. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.